Now then YouTube, I'm the Toughman and welcome back to some more Thorncraft and Britannia Unite. We are back with episode 80. Can you... Oh, man, there's so many episodes. Is it episode 80 or is it 79? Have I, have I, am I getting ahead of myself here, guys? I think I might be. No, I'm not. It is actually episode 80. That is crazy. So, last episode, we finished off this absolute massive contraption here, which is absolutely ledge. Why has all this gone strange? I have no clue. As long as it's working, it's fine by me. And uh, it looks like it is working. So, God knows why this is going like this. I've no idea. We could literally turn the entire thing off if we really wanted to, but I want to show you something uh, soon. I'm going to put, I think, in the uh, in the long run, just a lever on the end of here. Uh, oh, just so happens I've got one here. Uh, and then I can just simply right-click that and shut the entire thing down, mainly because it creates so much TPS, like, it's crazy. Let me go ahead and just reload this, guys. I want to see if uh, that wire goes back to normal. I've been doing some work in my creative world, Nope, the wire is just not going back to normal. I have no idea why. Let me just break this for a second. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to break this for a second because it might... I haven't saved the world. So if it breaks my world, I am going to be uh, very annoyed. Okay, I've got Gaia Spreaders. And these have got a s insane amount of range. They really have. Uh, when you look at it, guys, look at the amount of range that they've got. It is crazy. If I took that away, it actually goes to round about here. But I've fired it over here, guys. I fired it into another Gaia Mana Spreader there. And then I've got a Gaia Spreader, uh, Mana Spreader in the middle right there. I've got that one pointing up to this Gaia Spreader in the middle. And then it all goes down into this in the bottom there. I've got the um, the Alchemist thing underneath this. Uh, uh, underneath this particular mana pool. But that's going to create me a ton of mana, guys. And I'm probably going to leave it running when I'm not recording. Uh, because otherwise it's going to create a, a, a massive amount of, of TPS like. I also, I did put underneath over here, guys, um, a chunk loader so that I can keep everything chunk loaded. Oh, man, it looks fantastic over here. I want to, um, you know, not being satisfied with the amount of mana that I'm creating by this, I actually want to go into something else as part of Britannia. Um, I actually need to sort this bit out as well because the Orchid, I really want to get something that will uh, keep up with the Orchid. And this probably will in the long run, but I really want to try out some more of the different things um, that involves some of the stuff from Britannia. Namely the wheat, but namely also something called... Guys, if I go in here, it's called the Kekimuras. Now, I've already got one of them. Cake is delicious. Everyone loved it, flowers included. Now, it creates a bit of mana. It does the Kekimura. I've moved it. It's over here. But I want something, guys, that's going to create me a ton of, uh, of, of cakes. I want to be able to automatically create cakes. And there's a big problem with this. That is cows and getting them to be milked. Well, it just so happens, guys, there's a flower for that. Well, there isn't a flower for that. I do apologize. There is not a flower for that. It's called a drum of the gathering is, in short terms, Drum of the Wild for livestock. When a mana burst collides with it, it will shear any sheep around with grown fleece. Any cows with empty buckets below them will have their milk transferred to the buckets. That's exactly what I want. We need some dream wood, we need a couple of pieces of leather, and an elementium ingot for a Drum of the Gathering. That's one of the things that we're going to need. Now, I'm going to create a big kind of... It's going to be right here, so I'm going to move this orchid. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to move you just over here for a second. Um... And it's going to be over here, is the milk factory, of what I'm going to say. Have I got my horn on me? Is it in my bag? I think it is. I'm pretty sure I put it in there. Yeah. Look at that, guys. just want to clear this area out of uh, all these leaves. Good, good, good. Because I'm going to want to flatten this area as well. Now, I would go ahead and do the old terra firma rod thing. But uh, last time I did that, I totally destroyed my uh, my TNT um, generator. So I, I, I need to uh, sort that out as well. And I, don't worry, guys. I did manage to do it in my creative world. And I do want to be able to go ahead and fix all of that stuff so that it's actually working full time over there. But for the moment, it's fine. Oh, my God. I seem to have made a mess. I always make a mess. Let me put all of the seeds back into here. I have wheat in here, which is good. Now, I'm going to need a lot of dirt, which I just so happen to have. Now, I want to flatten this area out. I'm going to flatten this area out, kill these pigs, because I don't need pigs, I need cows. Kill these. Get out of the way. 
And I'm going to create an area for the start of this particular build. Okay, well, before I start doing that, um, I want to go to sleep because it's night time. I've got that thing over there that's pumping out all the stuff that can't make th that makes things not spawn within a certain radius. But to be fair, I just like it to be daytime. I, I always like it to be daytime when I'm doing stuff, especially on camera. It's all dark and horrible if, uh, if there's no light, obviously because otherwise it wouldn't be dark and horrible. So I've, I've made a little bit of a space over here, guys, for what I want to build. Now, this is going to create... It's going to need a little bit of space. Now, this is only one part of a much larger build of what I'm going to be doing. This is only going to be something that will get me milk. I've already got something over here. Although it's not automated, I certainly want to automate it fully. It's not automated just yet. So, there's something I want to be able to uh, edit with that one so that I can make everything automated quite nicely to be able to make cakes. And it's going to be a cake making factory to finish things off. At least, uh, that's what I'm hoping this thing is. Now, I've got the first part of the build done, which is filling the buckets with, uh, with milk. And that took a while to actually uh, figure this out, because the, the bucket itself needs to be directly underneath the cow. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to create some little pens for these guys. And they're going to be one block wide. I am sorry, cows, you're going to be in a little dirt shack. There's nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. You're just going to have to deal with it. Um, now I've got a little picture here hmm, of how I want things to be laid out. Of course, I don't want these buggers to get out. The reason why I'm using dirt and not fences is because the bucket itself, when it's dropped, it could end up going anywhere. Uh, and I just feel that it, it, it sometimes doesn't end up going where I want it to go. I know that I can use the droppers, and I do end up... Yeah, uh, sorry, not the droppers, the open crates from Britannia. And I do end up using those open crates from Britannia anyway, guys. So, um, it, it's just a fail-safe, everything, really. So what I'm going to do is something... Oh, no, 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 no. Like that. I don't think I want... Do I want... I don't want you there, do I? Because there's something I want to go on at the back here. I do need it to be three blocks tall. Because on the third block in the middle... Here is where the uh, dropper's going to be. At uh, the open crate, sorry. The dropper is going to be there. So is that... That's not three blocks tall. That's four blocks tall. I can't count, guys. I am terrible at counting, so it seems. And then it's going to come down like this. Made out of dirt, because, you know, ghetto. Um, get rid of that. That's right, guys. I'm going to need three droppers. Once again. I, I messed around with these uh, little designs a few times to try and find something to work. But I find that this one actually works a little bit better than everything else. So let me go ahead and put that like that. This like this. I'm going to need some red alloy, uh, alloy wire as well. And three droppers. Have I got any droppers spare? I don't think I do have any droppers spare. I definitely do have some red alloy, uh, alloy wire. I'm going to need a little bit more red alloy wire, so I'll have to make that. Um, but I do need some droppers as well. Okay, guys, I have the stuff now. I'm just about to go over to yonder place and uh, put all this stuff down. So, what I want to do is get my open crates that I've got, um, my red alloy wire, first and foremost. No, actually, the droppers. The droppers first. The droppers are going to be facing directly down. Straight to where the cows are going to be, okay? The open crates themselves are going to be facing directly down, right underneath the, um, the droppers there. There we go. Good stuff. And that is now done. The red ally wire, I am going to place something that looks a little bit like this. I'm going to have that coming down and spreading across here. Like this. Um... Possibly a little further. No, that's too far. That is too far. To go to about there. <coughs> Apologies, guys. Now, right in the middle, which is going to be here, is where I'm going to have um, my my uh, redstone mana spreader, which is what like this thing is. Uh, I'm going to have a redstone mana spreader and the drum of gathering just a little bit further forwards. Some things I need to do though first, um, I need to plug these gaps up so that the cows can't get out. There we go, done. I need a timer. 
Now, I'm going to put a little button on the side of here just to start things off with. Um, and I put all my stone away, so brilliant. I'm going to... I need to craft myself, guys, some... Where is it? Where is it? I need to craft myself the Drum of the Gathering as well. So I'll need the Elementium Ingot, which is Mana Steel. Um, I should be able to do all of this, actually. Is that still lit and open? No, it isn't, which is a shame. Um, because this keeps running out of mana. Because... Oh... This keeps running out of mana. I should be able to sort this out though now, to be fair. Have I got a spreader? I do. I have a spare Gaia mana spreader that I made. I'm going to pop that. No oh, balls. Right, you into there. You. Over to there. And that's going to go over to there and then set that off and then I'm going to get some mana again so that I can start that thing back up. Because I'm going to need to start that thing back up. Right, let me go and grab some stuff that I'm going to need. I don't know how much leather I've got left, actually. I need a couple of item frames. How much leather have I got? Nine leather. That should be enough. Have I got any mana steel in here? Yeah, oh, man, I've got plenty of mana steel. Okay, um, so I need, well, I need one, so I need two. Two mana steel ingots. There we go. Got, um... Uh, get it? Got. Uh. Anyway, um, two leather. And then the dream wood. Dream. Dream, dream, dream. It was actual dream wood, though, wasn't it? Yes, it was actual dream wood. Which I give living wood, not planks, living wood to yonder place. So I want to get seven birch wood. From here, I'm going to make some uh, living wood really quickly. I'm going to sleep through the night. I'm going to get all of the stuff to be able to make the drum of the gathering, and then I'll be back. Okay, I should have everything now to be able to go ahead and finish this build. So let me go over here and put this down, because I'm going to need you for uh, just a second. Elements you got dream wood and the two pieces of leather. And that is going to give me the drum of the gathering. That I am going to place right there. I've got a little uh, mana pool here which is already being fed by a Gaia mana spreader over here from this particular pool. So as you can see, got quite a bit of mana here. It's great. This is going to go over here. We're not going to use a lot of this mana, I have to say. So really I could have used one of those little ones, but oh well, never mind. It'll be fine. We need a redstone mana spreader right there. Uh, I'm going to take this little thing out, because what we want to do is create a delay. Now I made a repeater, there it is. Um, what we want to do is create a delay from when we press the button, or when the timer goes off, there's, there's going to be a timer there instead. Um, when the timer goes off, it's going to send the signal through here, it's going to drop the buckets that are going to be in there on these. Now when it comes through, it'll be instantaneous, obviously, when you press that button, it all lights up. So we want to create a delay right here. I'm going to press that three times, and then the uh, it's going to the redstone signal is going to hit this. It's then going to fire the mana off the here. All of the buckets should be already be on the cows, which are here. I've got some... I turned the thing off from over there and just grabbed a load of cows. And then dragged them over here, uh, put them into there. The redstone... Uh, the mana burst will hit that, then fill the buckets up while they're going to be on the cows. And then... What's going to happen is the hopper hocks that we've got. I'm going to get two hopper hocks. One that's going to be right here next to a chest with an item frame on it. And I don't actually have any buckets with me at the moment. That's a shame. Uh, but this one is going to have a milk bucket in it. Round the back, I'm going to put right next to this. Now, this is just a fail safe, just in case it doesn't work. Um, which sometimes it does, um, but most of, most of the time, in quite a, you know quite a lot of the time, this will work absolutely fine. Um, I forgot my other item frame. Stick the item frame on there. Now empty buckets will go on there. So wherever the empty buckets are, it will go ahead and uh, pick those empty buckets up. Now because there's going to be a delay on this, it's not got any mana got to it at all. There's going to be a slight delay on this. By the time that this goes off and hits this, it should have milk in the bucket, so this won't go ahead and pick up the empty buckets. What we're going to do is we're going to grab all of these straw golems that I've got over here, and they're going to be tied over to the tops. One there, one there, and one there. And I've seen you, don't worry. 
Yeah, get lost. Get lost. I'm in the middle of making a build here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put fill animation cores on those things. One for you, one for you, and one for you. And what these will do is these will keep a certain thing stocked inside here. Now, I want only a precise amount, which is why I'm using the fill cores. I want one single bucket being, uh, you know, in that uh, dropper at all times. Because if we have more in there, it's going to drop a load of, you know, the timer will set off and drop a load more, and we don't want this to happen. So I want some uh, iron. How much iron do I have? 145 iron, that's fine. Do I have any actual buckets in here? No. Okay. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27. 27 iron ingots, please. That's not 27. Oh, there we go. The rest was on the top there. So what I want to do is that. I'm going to have nine empty buckets. In fact, I'm probably going to want one more, just so that I can do, or two more. So I want six iron ingots. I'm going to make two more buckets. And those are the ones that I'm going to put in the item frames. So let's pop over. Whee! Glide down. There we go. I'm going to get one of milk off them. There we go. I've got that. Shove that into there, so it will only pick up uh, milk buckets. I'm going to get one for normal ones. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them into there. I'm going to get my Gullum and Sisbel and say, oh, no, I actually, hang on a minute. I need one bucket to tell them what to pick up. Hello. That's for you. You want one bucket at all times in this uh, inventory, please. There we go. And I'm going to put the empty buckets inside there. I'm going to get you and say you can get it from that chest there. Get you, you can get it from that chest there, and you can get it from that chest there, also. So there we go. Now, it's getting buckets in there. Now, the good thing about this, guys, is um, in the end, when the milk buckets get used by the recipe, when I've done the whole build, this is not going to be the whole build in today's episode, guys. Well, this is just simply filling these books, uh, these buckets up. I'm going to have something similar to this golem over here that's going to automatically craft the cakes for me. And then the empty buckets are going to get sent back into the system and then put back into this particular chest right here. And then it's just going to be a constant system of making cakes, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to show you how this works. Where's my button? Is it in my chest? I think I did put it in there, yes. I'm going to show you how this works. Blink and you'll miss it, guys. There we go. That is literally how it works. Rotten flesh. That was picked up by uh, the thing in my bobbins. Is it going to pick those up? The hopper hock there? Why are you not picking that up? I'm pretty sure I saw the, uh, the milk buckets there. Right, you come out of the way. Maybe there's too much of a delay? Nope, there's definitely you took three buckets out of there. So where the hell did they go? <laughs> I have no idea where they just went, guys. Are they still in there? Where's my little magnetizer? Have I got it in here? Uh, no. I apparently don't have it in here. I swear I did. Huh. But those built milk buckets should be getting picked up by the hopper hock there. Maybe it's because it's next to the drum of gathering for some reason? I have no idea. Um, ring of... Do, is my mag magnet... There it is. Ring of magnetization. Ring of magnetization. Thank you. I will want you upon my bauble when I'm back. Why is that not working, though? That should work. It works perfectly fine in my uh, testing world there. Let me grab you and put you that side instead. It might work there. It appears not. Um, now, let me go ahead into here and put my ring of magnetization on. Is it actually working? I saw the things, guys. I swear to God I saw them. Yeah, there's just nothing there. Now that is very strange. 
There should be... They should be there. Let me try this once more. Because I have no idea what the heck happened there. Oh, balls. <laughs> well, I kind of messed that one up. They just seem to be disappearing into my pack. Into me. Right there. I saw them fly towards me, but nothing actually happened there. I am confused. Okay, I have found the culprit. It is this thing right here. So for the moment, what I'm going to do is I don't have anything on me. I'm just going to get rid of that for the moment. And then I'll have to sort it out with some item frames around here so it only picks up the uh, the wheat and the seeds. Anyways, let's try this one more time without my ring of magnetization on and all that sort of stuff. There we go. Three lovely buckets of milk there. Now don't forget, uh, what I've got is nine... Um, whoops. Have I run out of mana? Are you kidding me? Where's my little uh, thing in my bobbins? It's there. I've apparently run out of mana. Um, let me go around the back then. This should have three more in here. Oh, no. I'm apparently missing... There should be multiples of three inside here. Uh, don't tell me you picked it up. Nope. Maybe it's because I did one the other time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So I can click that and I'll end up with nine. That'll get picked up by that. And there we go. That is the milk making machine. Let me go to sleep really quickly, guys. I can't actually. I haven't got the uh, the wool machine on, so that's why I'm running out of mana. Let me go to sleep really quickly and then I will... Um, and the episode, I believe. That is all I wanted to do today, guys. Show you the milk making machine. Now, next episode, what I'm going to do is... Oh. Ouch. Next episode, what I'm going to do is come back and try to finish off my cake making machine. Now, don't forget, guys, to make a cake, we're going to need eggs as well. So I'm going to need an egg making machine. Sugar is really not that hard. I've got a sugar cane farm over uh, yonder place. I can just move the whole thing over here. And then we need wheat, which wheat we've already got over there. And we just need to do some stuff with golems or maybe um, stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We'll figure it out as we go along. But now I have got a milk making machine and that is exactly what I want to get. So put that there. And we are done for today's episode. If you've got any improvements to this, guys, then by all means, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you for the next episode. Until then, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.